Hey y'all, this is Storm from TaylorMade Potpourri and Buff Stuff Gaming. I'm going to show you my methods for keeping the sound but not picture in the Share Factory picture in picture part. Plus I'm going to show you a simpler way to add the sound effects to your videos. Uh, you may get a video that it just the sound is just boring. Much like this one. You want to jazz it up a little bit, and you go and you got a clip that you want to add in, or you just want to get the sound and no picture from a clip. I'm going to show you how to do that uh, several ways. First off, when you go to try to add a track to, you find a spot where you want add your track 2 in you add the clip in this one here I'm using a drive club car that I had clip I had saved and as you can see you get both still get both the sound and the picture is up in the top right hand corner and that's not what you want and also you can make the picture in picture layout the full screen but what that does is that makes your picture in picture the primary on your primary video on your project. So I'm going to show you a couple ways you can do this. One of the ways is when you have your clip up, your project that you're working on, find a spot that where you want to start it at and split the clip there. and then decide how long you want it to last and once you find that spot you hit split clip again and that's where you want to put your picture in picture at to get your sound effects from it now at this point you save your project as it is and then what you're going to do is you're going to go back in and start deleting all the clips except the clip where you're going to put your picture in picture on what you do is you delete it everything and then you just have that short clip and you export it to the gallery once you export it to the gallery you exit without saving and then all you got to do is go back in and open your project back up go down to your last project and just open it up what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and delete that clip and you're going to add a clip in whatever clip you want the picture in picture sound from this one being the car from Drive Club. I added that in. As you can see. Now it's part of my projects on the main pro timeline. Now I'm going to go in and add the picture in picture. I go in to add track 2. And I take that clip I had just exported to the gallery and I add it as my picture in picture you may need to make a few adjustments move it here or there to get it to where the, your placement and sound is going to be what you want you do this on any picture in picture it doesn't matter
and then you go to the end of your where your picture and pictures at and you're going to go back to your main timeline and split the clip and then delete the remainder of that drive club clip I added in. Now I'm going to take and go to edit track 2 and I'm going to take and go down to picture in picture layout after I turn the volume down on the track 2 and I'll make it full screen you want to make sure that your volume on your main timeline is turned up and the volume in your track 2 is turned down and then you're going to this is what the clip is going to kind of sort of look like and sound like and as you can see there it started out and I had to make a couple adjustments another easy way that real quick to tell you about it is you can take the clip and in the capture gallery uh, take your main project clip that you started out with before you did all the splitting and all that stuff and just trim it down and save it as an overwrite as a new one and then you can just add that in you get everything where you like it, export the gallery. Now I'm going to show you another way to do this. If you're just wanting sound effects, you don't like the sound that's on there. Why? I'm going to go in there. And what I did was I took that Drive Club clip, I exported it to my USB and put it on my computer and used a free program and converted it to an MP3 and put that back on my USB stick that I use for my share factory under share factory music and now it's become a music track and as you saw there it was up at the top and I just add it back in and all I got is the sound of the car you're gonna just place it go through and split the clip as it did before except this time you just place the it would be called a music track just add music but it's really the sound effects from the car from that drive club clip because it's such a long clip you may have to split it and adjust it but that's the simplest way is just take your clip that has the sound on it that you want to use in your video might be sound effects might be someone talking might be something else but the easiest way for me was is take the clip export it to my USB and take a free computer program and convert it to an MP3 after I copied it to the USB and then I just bring it back as a music file and add my sound effects as you hear there very simple after you put your music on there it may be too long and what you want to do is just let the music run until where you want it to stop at where your split is on your main timeline and just go into edit track 2 and split the music and delete the rest of that music off of there and this is what you'll get that's kind of
cool effect to the thing. Also, you can, in the capture gallery, make use of the trim program. Every time I do a 60 minute clip of a gameplay, I will go in there and trim it and take out the parts I want and always save them as a new clip. And that way if I want to use them in my projects, oh, I'll have the clip already ready to go, already trimmed down and it saves me a lot of time uh, on the Share Factory program. But it's a storm from Buff Stuff Gaming and Taylor Made Potpourri. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. And as always, thank a vet and have a great day.